Eddie, every successful team, as you well know, has to be built from the back. You're still the meanest defence in the Premier League, just nine goals conceded. How hard are you working on that aspect of the game? We work hard on both aspects every day, Jim, to be honest. I think um, we, we don't sacrifice that. And, and even now we're being successful with that, we can't go away from it. Mm. Um, the basics, the fundamentals, as you say, that is made by the players. Um, 1 to 11, we're all contributing to that effort. Uh, today we really we protected Nick Pope very well, I thought. I was going to say, you've got a very good defence and a very good goalkeeper behind them. Yeah, he's been superb for us this year. I mean, I don't think he did too much today or had to do too much. But again, his overall commanding of his box and when he had to come out and sweep the ball from behind our back four was yeah. very good. Well, he hasn't quite heard what you said there, unless he's got exceptional hearing, but here he is. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, Nick, Nick, welcome. One of the easiest evenings for you tonight. Not, not really extended tonight, were you? Um, yeah, lads in front of me, it's, it's credit to them when that happens, you know, and you know they've looked after me ever so well since I've come to the football club and yeah, like you see tonight, um, really well drilled and great attitude and character shown to, you know, off the ball work, it's all great for me. I'm going to step aside a little bit because uh, we got your hero. Can, can, oh, yeah. can, can I step I aside too? Got, this isn't yeah. doing me any favors. <laughs> we've, got, we've got the mascot. We've got the mascot. You got here and the mascot. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, no. I, it's, hey, given. it's good, Jim, that actually Eddie and, and Nick are both together because, Nick, your saves, you command the box, you're quick off your line. How you've started Newcastle has been phenomenal for the fans and everyone. You've hit the ground running been brilliant and then people always say is he as good with his feet and I think it's a good question for both of you guys I'm sure you work on it on a daily basis with Adam and, and the other coaches but how much does do you guys join in with the outfield players and, and, and stuff to, for Nick to improve because obviously at Burnley they played a different style of football and you you, you said Eddie they want a possession based football so <laughs> yeah, we don't work on anything. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, no ever since I've come to the football club I don't think um, I was anyone was naive in the fact that there was a different style of play you know and then I've come here and there's maybe a few things that are differently expected of me um, but no I think that's something that I wanted to be a part of and uh, you know, I really wanted to come to this football club in, in this moment and not just I think as, ever since I've been a footballer and I've played at the top level you don't want to just you know play to survive you want to play to you know make your mark and when you're in a top team and when you want to be a top team there's certain things you've got to do and yeah, since I've, since I've walked through the door, we, we have worked on it. Um, so I'm hoping, hoping that's showing, yeah. I know you've got to go, Ed. Just one before you go. What special demands have you put on this fellow? I don't think I've put any special demands. I, I, I've just said I want him to be himself. The goalkeeper we signed was a, an incredible shot stopper, very good command of his box, and someone we felt could um, grow into our style of play, and I think he's been absolutely brilliant um, on and off the pitch from day one. Pope for England? You're talking to me, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I thought so. Absolutely, absolutely. Don't look over your shoulder. No, no, no. I don't know whether you're asking Nick. Um, yeah, for me, he look. He's right in the frame. I'm not going to pick or put Gareth under any pressure. But um, I said in the in the pre-match build-up, I wouldn't swap him for anybody. Nick, we believe there's a, an England squad uh, being an announced tomorrow. Just give us your overall feelings about uh, Qatar and the World Cup in England. Could you? Yeah, of course. Uh... I was fortunate enough to go to the last one in in Russia, and you know saw what an event it was, and obviously how it you know kind of uh, we got to show what as an England team what we're about and how we're going to move forward. So an opportunity, I think that you know we can go there and really express ourselves, and you know have no fear, have the shackles off, and you know show show everyone how good we are. And just finally, just for me, I mean, when you were that high, you. Were, Adored this fellow, <laughs> didn't you? I've paid Jim. Well, I've paid Jim <laughs> off before you come over. Next um, absolutely, and you know, part of signing for this football club, you know, is great goalkeeper heritage, and you know, no one bigger than Shea. So um, to have some, you know, nice words of of him, and uh, that means means the world for sure. Well, Prime Video brought you two together for the first time. It could be the start of a long, long friendship. Hope know. so. But Nick, we really appreciate you joining us, awesome. and best of luck for the rest of the month, of course, and uh, for the rest of the year, I should say and to continue to go well here at St James's. Thanks Lovely. for your time. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.